Flaky. Nice and flaky. See? Yep, and super, super soft. See? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have grandma in the kitchen with me today, my dad's mom, and she's gonna be sharing with us how she makes her oil roti or paratha roti. So she's gonna show you guys how to make these soft and delicious rotis. So if you wanna see how we put this together, please keep on watching. All right guys, so the first step for grandma to make her roti is to put the flour in the bowl. And what brand of flour do you use? Five rose. The five rose flour? Five and our whole baking powder. And this is the baking powder she uses, Arbo brand. This is also the one we use at home. Yeah, but I don't measure, I just do it like this. Like a... So as you guys can see, the older generation, they don't really uh, measure anything, they just average. So we'll leave you guys measurements down below though. I'll go ahead and I'll average it for you guys. And after you add in that baking powder, you're gonna go in with just a little bit of oil. This just helps keep the roti nice and soft when you're going to cook it. Yeah, really moist. All right, so what are you gonna do next after you mix in everything? Just put the warm water. Okay, and it has to be just warm or hot or cold? No, or just warm. And you just keep on adding this in until you get a very soft um, dough. Mm -hmm. It's a shaggy dough you're looking for almost. It's not supposed to be super stiff and it's not right, supposed to be super right. wet and sticky though. So wait, how old were you when you first started making this? Uh, my baby, 12 years old. Like by yourself? Yeah. Wow. Then your mom taught you how to make this? Yeah, see how she do it. So, we learn. So, that's it. So once everything's mixed, you just gather it onto itself? Yeah. And what, you gonna let it rest or no? We'll let it rest for a couple of minutes. Okay. And then we'll come back and oil it. Okay. All right, so once you let your roti dough soak for maybe like a 10 minutes, you're gonna break them into balls. And when grandma makes her roti, one of these balls becomes two roti, right? <laughs> yeah. So that's why she's breaking them so big right now. And you'll see how she makes it into the two in a second. And once you take one of those dough balls, you're just gonna dip it in some dry flour and you're gonna roll it out until it's nice and thin. And with this part, since you're going to be oiling the inside, you don't have to get it round. This is not the part yeah, where you have to get it round. It's the taste that counts. Uh, okay, let's put some oil. All you do is spread out the oil till you get to the edges and sprinkle some dry flour. And now grandma will tell you what she does to get it into two. Okay, like this. And you just fold it in on itself. Oh. And this is what creates all the layers. So I bet none of you guys have ever seen this way of doing it, but give it a try and let us know what you guys think. Can you just put it on the plate now? Mm -hmm. So what, you're gonna, how long do you let this rest? Another 10 minutes and you cook it. Okay. And if they wanted to, they could put this all in a Tupperware dish and let it sit in the fridge overnight, right? Yes. And then yeah. in the morning you take it out and you make, you make it. Yeah. Do they have to let it rest at room temperature or no? Yeah, room temperature. Okay. You pinch it. And this is just so this way none of that oil falls out. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna show you guys one more. All you gotta do is dip the big ball of dough in the dry flour and you roll it out until it's nice and thin. And like I always say, the thinner that you make it at this step, the more layers you'll have in the roti afterward. And you were saying the more flour you put on the you inside? Put a little, yeah, a little flour, the more fluffy you get. So the more layers you'll have mm -hmm. if you do that. Lay in the roti, roll in the roti. <laughs> So all you do, once your roti sits for like a 15 minutes, you dip it in some dry flour mm -hmm. and then you um, 
put it on your countertop or your board or whatever you have, and then you roll it out until it's thin. Right. That's the stuff. And you can make it as thin or as thick as you want, right? And then once your tawa heats up, you're gonna put that roti right on top. Alright, Now you want to use enough dry flour so it don't stick, but you also don't want to use too much or else it like burns on the tawa. Let me do this. So you could use a piece of paper towel, you could or use a brush cloth. or a cheesecloth, um, or some people even use a spoon. Right. And you just brush one side, you flip it again, and you brush the other side until it's coated. Some people use ghee, some people use butter. I've heard some people use coconut oil, so you could use anything really. And what, you let it cook for like one minute on each side about? Mm -hmm. Some people like it crispy, some people like it um, white. And while the first one is cooking, you go ahead and you roll out another one. So this way, by the time the other one's done, you have another one to put on the stove. Okay. You have to be a full, full circle. Yeah, it's the taste that matters, not the shape. Grandma's roti is fluffy and soft always. And so good. Yeah? It's so good. Soak up the gravy. Soaks up the gravy really, really good. See, <laughs> flaky. Nice and flaky. See? Yep, and super, super soft. See? Soft. So once it comes off the stove like that, you just put it into the plate and you clap it around a few times. And once you see all those layers released, that's how you know it's done. And if you would want, you could use a spatula, you could use your hand, whatever you want to turn it with. Whatever is easiest for you. So out of this entire batch of roti that grandma made, she got eight rotis. She put four in an airtight container and she put it in the fridge for tomorrow and she's making four now to cook, um, to eat now. Now why do you wipe it? You wipe it out because the oil and the flour is a little, get a little dark. Okay, so just so it doesn't taste burnt. Right. Do this one again. You think grandma makes the best roti? Huh? Me and I, she's made good roti yet, but I know if she's making the best. <laughs> I think I think it's the best. <laughs> See, my sister said I could make the best. <laughs> well, roti and what is your favorite combination? For me? Yeah. Roti and fish curry. Fish curry, yeah. I like gilbaka mm -hmm. or whatever, or shrimp curry. But, but like coke and choker, um, bike and choker. Bike and choker and roti, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's always good I like for that. breakfast. So if you guys enjoyed this video today, please don't forget to give it a nice big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet by clicking that red subscribe button and hitting that bell notification icon so you never miss out on any of my newest videos. And of course, drop your comments down below. And if you guys want to see how to make these soft and fluffy rotis, then go ahead and give this recipe a try and let me know what you think.